All right, so we back. Um, I just hit the triple chocolate, and we're at about five minutes on this video. I don't want this video to push past eight minutes, so let's get this thing really started real fast. All right, now we're on the strawberry one. I'm at about six and a half ounces of uh, milk, 1%. Let's get this thing started. Yeah, I know y'all see that in the background back there. And that empty, yep. But uh, let's get this thing started. Got the strawberry one. Same size scooper. I'm going to go about a, not a full, full scoop because I'm only at six. So it'll be about right there. Dump that bad boy in. Let's see what we get. It's a strawberry smoothie flavor. Not just a generic strawberry. They put smoothie on this one. So let's see what we get. All right, so first off, that's enough shaking. Um, the, the color doesn't turn pinkish. It stays uh, kind of like, like a creamish color. It looks like a vanilla, actually. But let's have a taste. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Here we go. I, had to, I, I put water in my mouth and got out of the triple chocolate one. So let's see what this one do. Okay, now I like that one with milk too. I would be nervous to drink it with water personally, um, but with milk, this one tastes pretty good too. Let me see. Uh, I didn't shake this one up that much, but it's a little foamy. I'm tasting a little like some little protein or whatever this is in my mouth. Let me see. Okay, I like it. If I had to pick between the two, I think this strawberry goes hard. But if I had to pick between the two, let me hold these up so you can see. Triple chocolate, and then we got the strawberry smoothie. If I had to pick, if I was in this grocery store right now, and uh, I saw both of these, I can I can settle for either or. But if I just had to pick, and I because I'm going off a of taste right now, if I just had to pick, I would definitely go with the triple chocolate one over the strawberry one. But if I had the money, I would probably just get them both, though. Because I actually like how the strawberry one tastes. I don't know if you guys are fans of, like, fruit taste. But this strawberry one tastes, it tastes good. I like it. But, you know, you can't never go wrong with a chocolate one. And this triple chocolate one, it does taste good. I actually, I would give this one um, out of taste compared to this one. This one would probably be an 8, and this would probably be a 9.2 or something like that as far as taste. So I would go with this one, but you still can't go wrong with the strawberry one. Um, just to give you guys a quick rundown on the back, I know this is not like a full detail review because I'm actually uh, going to start taking this today. Um, this is what I'm going to take. I'm just going to rotate between these two. I'm still going to do a taste test of the uh, cookies and cream and the vanilla for you guys and give you my honest taste test opinion. But when it comes down to results and things of that nature, it's going to be between these two so i will take between these two uh I, i'm not gonna take the mts i'm gonna save that for later um since it's a five pound i only took it like two or three times so i'm gonna just leave the mts and i'm gonna go straight to the six star they gave it to me want me to do a review so i'm gonna make sure i get the review out for these guys but i'm gonna just give you some some quick rundowns on the back of what this stuff has in it real quick um just going off the triple chocolate right now 170 calories um 30 grams of protein per scoop and uh fat it says uh 1.5 grams of fat um, carbs, 8 grams. Pretty decent. Okay. Um, ingredients. This is Ultra Premium Whey Protein Blend. Has a uh, whey protein concentrate as the first ingredient. Then whey protein isolate. Then it has some malodextrin. And then it has an advanced recovery and performance blend. <clears throat> and in that blend, it has uh, creatine monohydrate, taurine, um, L-lysine, um, uh, L-isoleucine, L-valine, and L-glutamine, um, and glycine. Then it has cocoa natural and all that stuff. And it says it has a protein digestive enzymes blend and it contains, you know, milk and stuff like that sort. So, um, for those guys who who don't like creatine in their proteins, then this probably wouldn't be the protein for you. Some guys don't like um, protein, I mean, creatine in their protein. They like a pure, just plain, you know, protein with nothing else in it besides, you know, um, the basic stuff to help with recovery. Um, now, the creatine in here, let me see if it has it. It doesn't have it... Uh, it doesn't have it listed, like as far as broken down, as far as how much creatine per scoop is in here. Uh, let me see. It doesn't have uh, any of the like actual uh, like grams per servings of the things that you're getting, as far as creatine and and valine and glutamine. I, it doesn't. It didn't break it down that far. Um, but if I just had to pick, I'm pretty sure uh, the amount of creatine per scoop in here. It probably wouldn't give you that that creatine bloat that people call it. 
uh, I'm pretty sure you can still drink this protein and you probably still, if you are taking creatine, you probably would still want to add more creatine to this. You know, make, maybe take your creatine like regular and still have a protein shake, this kind this type of protein shake. Uh, but that's just a quick rundown on it. Um, like I say, I'm going to take this for the next maybe two and a half weeks or so. Uh, just I'm just going to rotate flavors between these two. But the next video will be just two quick taste tests on uh, the cookies and cream and uh, vanilla one. Going to take these one uh, faithfully. And then I give you guys like my overall review as far as recovery. Did it help me uh, build muscle? Things of that nature. You know, the, the basic reviews that you would get on a protein because uh, all protein reviews kind of can be the same. I think it just depends on the ingredients that's in that protein, if that makes sense, and what that protein has to offer you as far as macronutrients and things of that nature. So, with that being said, it's been Jim Monster 81, representing Jim Monster Fitness. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Copy your hoodie if you want. Copy your V-neck if you want. Um, look for me on our Instagram, Twitter, all that good old stuff. And I'm going to the gym later, so I might try to get some footage in the gym depending on what I want to do. I know I'm supposed to hit back, and I'm thinking of trying to hit that 400 today. I'm thinking of trying it one more time today. Uh, but I don't know. I got to see how I feel when I get there. And I might not do deadlifts first this time if I go there and I plan on doing it today. So with that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. Stay tuned for the other quick two taste tests. That video will probably be shorter than this one. I hate to keep you guys this long, but I'm going to get out of here. Catch you boys on the flip side. Peace.